because when the body of the woman is violated, it symbolizes the body of the whole nation. While I was in Gaza, I was chained for three weeks. I was kept in a really dark room without being able to move. And whenever I needed to go and use the bathroom, I needed to ask for permission. His name was Muhammad. He used to sit on the bed in front of me, wearing his uh, shorts, um, laying down. I remember I couldn't look at him. I was just like looking away and uh, covering myself with a blanket so I wouldn't have to look at him. It made me feel really uncomfortable. He also kept asking me, uh, do I like sex? Do I have sex with my boyfriend? And I, I, whenever he talked about it, I just like giggled and say, oh, come on, stop, stop, trying to change the subject. I knew that he's, he's up to something. I knew that something bad is going to happen. What was going through your mind?
forced me uh, to commit a sexual act on him. Uh, and I remember the time I was like thinking, Amit, okay, you knew it's gonna happen. It's really happening. I said to myself, okay, you can handle this. You just want to survive. You need to survive. Your mom, your family is waiting. I just concentrated on that instead of what's really going on. And when he was finished, he went to clean himself up. I got dressed, covered myself up, and I was crying. He came in and he told me, I'm good, I'm meat, right? I'm good? No, I'm not good. No, I'm good. I'm your friend, right? I remember I could not look at him. I looked away. And then he went that really mad. He closed the door and I was in that room in complete darkness. Then he came in again and asked me, food, food, I'm good, right? I'm good, food. And I realized that if I say no, he's gonna punish me again. So I said, yeah, food. And that's the worst part, that I'm completely dependent on him, completely dependent on the guy who just forced me to do what he forced me to do. When you start hearing the stories, starting from psychological abuse, layer on top of that uh, physical abuse, and that could be beating, and that could be um, branding. And Brand, could be, branding? What do you mean? What's branding? Branding is marking someone by, by burning uh, a pattern, so they would be marked. And I got uh, medication to sedate them. Um, some of the women were very concerned as to what happened when they got those medications, they didn't know. Do you have reason to believe that the hostages left behind faced even more sexual abuse? When I think of the people that are there for over 100 days, um, I'm, I'm scared of what we're gonna meet. We are ready for the uh, unthinkable possibility of, of pregnancies uh, and for needing to provide um, help uh, in very, very difficult decisions. I felt disgusted with myself, even though I had no choice. It's really difficult to talk about. But when I, after I talked to the lady doctor and told her, I felt like something was released, like, like it made it better to talk about it. You haven't talked about this until now. Why? I decided to talk about it only after I heard that people are trying to say that it didn't happen. So I decided that I need to talk. I need to talk for women. I need to talk because I won't forgive myself if I will still see people that are saying that those things didn't happen when I know that they didn't.